Potential this evening is different than the flooding we prepare for when that snow starts to melt in April and May. New specialist Jed Bull is showing us the concern right now. Jed? Yeah, Mike, this is what a lot of properties look like on the East Bench. Also up in the Heber Valley, the Wasatch back and in the Ogden Valley. And if a lot of rain falls on this snowpack and it has nowhere to go, that's a problem. We're expecting some very localized kind of nuisance flooding in some areas. Anywhere there's feet of snow on the ground below 8,000 feet could present a problem on any property without good drainage. National Weather Service hydrologist Glenn Merrill tells me some properties could be vulnerable on the Wasatch back. They just have so much snow right now. And, you know, whenever we get a rain on snow event, it's something to definitely pay close attention to. It's called sheet flooding because the rain hits the snow and runs off like a sheet. You melt the water through the snowpack, uh, you saturate the soils, it's got nowhere to go other than where it wants to. That's different than snow melt runoff later in the season that can overflow creeks. Sheet flooding soaked Menden in Cache County in February 2017. We had that rain on snow where three feet of snow was lost and you also added two to five inches of rain on top of it. And that's where the sheet flooding uh, happened. It's a big enough deal for us that we are trying to lean forward into this so we're not caught flat foot. Salt Lake County Emergency Management is on alert. All these piles of snow that have been built up in parking lots and, and places like that are gonna melt and run off and they have the potential to overwhelm those, st those storm drain systems and create flooding problems that are different from the spring runoff. If you've had flooding before, you might have problems again. Most communities offer sandbag supplies and fire departments are ready for neighborhood flooding. The Unified Fire Authority always keeps 14 pallets of sandbags and pumps ready to go. So we can help pump that water away from, from property. The hydrologist tells me that he does not believe that we will have the same volume of rain that caused all of that flooding up in Menden five years ago. But in general, keep in mind, he says it's a good idea to try to keep your piles of snow separated from the foundation of your home. Guys?